What is up, big kids and big kids parents? I hope you are doing well. I hope you are staying safe. I am really looking forward to the time when we can meet again as a church. But in the meantime, I thank you for joining me on this video, and I hope that you enjoy. Before we jump into our lesson uh, today, I just want to run a few things by you. First of all, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Uh, we are thankful for you. We are grateful for uh, the work that you do for your children, uh, for your families, um, and, and your ministry in general. So happy Mother's Day. Kids, uh, don't forget to say happy Mother's Day uh, to your mom. Uh, do something nice for her that, that uh, you wouldn't normally do. Uh, you know, maybe cook her breakfast or clean the house or, or maybe don't clean the house because you just might uh, make things worse or something. Uh, but make sure that you let your mom know uh, how much you appreciate what she does for you uh, each and every day. Uh, second, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, there's some great content on, on here. Uh, this is a channel that is used by all of our age graded staff, uh, which covers little kids, big kids, students, and adults. So there's some really funny videos on here, and then there's some videos with some great content. And can you believe that we are one month away from VBS? I am so excited. I hope you're excited too. Uh, we are going virtual with VBS in case you weren't aware of that. Uh, so hopefully you were able to get your child uh, registered and signed up so you can receive that porch pack with all of the resources that you need to do VBS in your home. If you were not able to uh, register your child, please let me know. Please reach out to me uh, as quickly as you possibly can, uh, and we will work something out. Anyway, thanks for watching and enjoy. All right, so jumping into our lesson uh, for today, for this week, uh, we are going to be talking about how Paul listened to God. So um, make sure you have your copies of God's Word. Uh, if you don't, feel free to pause the video, go and find uh, your copies of the Bible, and open them uh, up to the book of Acts. The book of Acts. A-C-T-S. And our life point uh, for this week, which you'll see at the bottom of your screen, is people can tell about Jesus and the Holy Spirit will help them. So Jesus, people can tell about Jesus and the Holy Spirit will help them. Like I said, we are jumping into uh, the book of Acts this week. So open up to Acts 15, and that's where uh, the majority of our lesson is going to come from. Uh, but before we jump into uh, the scripture and the lesson, I want you to think for a minute about relationships. I want you to think for a minute about the friendships that you have. And sometimes relationships can be good, and sometimes relationships can be bad, right? Think about some of the relationships that we see in the Bible. We have the, the example of Joseph, and Joseph had brothers who hated him so much that they sold him to people who took him far away from his home. Can you imagine being in that situation where you have brothers or sisters uh, who, who you get into fights with so much that, that they would want to sell you to someone else? That's awful. That's crazy. Uh, also, think about uh, the story of Esther, right? We, we know the story of, of Esther. Uh, we, we've taught about it uh, in, in Sunday school. Uh, but Esther was taken to a castle far away from the love and care and supervision um, of her family. And also, we, we hear about the, the relationship uh, between uh, Mary and, and Joseph. Right, they they were um, a part of God's plan. Right, they they knew a secret that was so unbelievable that nobody would really believe them. And what we see in these three stories, and what we're going to see in the book of Acts, is that God can use us in any way that He sees fit. Right? We, we experience a lot of different relationships with people. Right? Sometimes we get into fights and, and sometimes we um, get along uh, with our brothers and sisters, with our friends, whatever it may be. Uh, a lot of times we go through um, a roller coaster type thing with, with our relationships. But the, the common thing is that God can use those relationships and God can use 
us in any circumstance to accomplish his will and the Holy Spirit helps us to do that so I want you to be thinking about different relationships that you've experienced different friendships and different situations that you've been in and how God can use those situations and those relationships for his glory and how the Holy Spirit can help us to do that so while we're thinking about the topic of relationships and friendships uh, we're going to be jumping into Acts chapter 15, uh, 36 through 41. I have my copy of God's Word right here in front of me so that I don't forget what it says and I don't mess it up. Um, but anyway, we, we this is a story that features uh, someone that we know, Paul, and uh, one of his best friends throughout the book of Acts, Barnabas. Right? They were super tight. They were best friends. Uh, and they were getting ready to go back on a missionary journey they were getting ready to go back and visit people who they had told about Jesus and before they left uh, Barnabas says hey let's bring John Mark with us right John Mark uh, is Mark that's that's who you know him as he says hey let's bring Mark with us and Paul says well that's probably not such a great idea um, he, he kind of messed up in the past I, I don't think that we should bring him along and Barnabas was like no let's let's bring him and so the Bible says uh, in verse uh, 39, uh, there arose a sharp disagreement so that they separated from each other, right? This is maybe not such great news when you first read it. You're, you're sitting there and you're thinking, well, Paul just got into a fight with his best friend, right? They, they got into a disagreement over whether or not to bring Mark. And so Barnabas took Mark and they went to Cyprus and Paul chose Silas, and he went to go visit the other people. And so, looking at this story, you may think, well, that's, that's awful news. That's not a good story at all. But the way that we see God use this uh, in, in the rest of the book of Acts is instead of having one team go out and share the, the story of Jesus, now he had two teams go out. And share the story of Jesus. So God was able to use this to sh to spread the gospel, and He was able to use this for His glory. So thinking about relationships and thinking about friendships, if God can use a disagreement, an argument between two really good friends, what other situations do you think God can use for His glory? And I want you to be thinking about that. As we move into uh, the next section of our video, what are some ways that God can use me and my situation to share his word? To wrap this video up, to give you something, something to think about as you're working together uh, as a family, as you're thinking about uh, this topic of, of stories and relationships and how God can use them, I want to invite you uh, to take a look at Acts chapter 16 verses 1 through 12 and, and we kind of see in this chapter uh, how God was able to use this situation for his glory but some of the things that I want you to think about specifically while you're sitting there at home uh, while you're working together as a family is I want you to think about God's plan for your life and before you start talking about it before you start uh, really thinking about it, I want to invite you to open up to Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. And this is, this is what that verse says. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And so as you're thinking about what is God's plan for my life, what, what does God have for my life? Well, Acts chapter 1-8 really tells us right there what God's plan for all of us is, is when we follow Jesus, right? We learned this uh, last week or, or the week before, uh, whenever that was, when we follow Jesus, when we trust in Jesus as our Savior, we receive the Holy Spirit. So every believer, every person who follows Jesus faithfully, 
has the Holy Spirit living inside of them. And so what this verse tells us is that we will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us. And power to do what? Does that mean I'll get stronger? Does that mean I'll be able to lift more? Does that mean I'll be able to run faster? No, not really, um, because I can't. <laughs> uh, but that power, it tells us right there at uh, the end of the verse, or in the middle of the verse, you will receive power to be my witnesses. So what's a witness? Well, you may have heard that word used before. Um, maybe you, you've seen um, TV shows where, where they're in court, and a witness is just someone who tells about something that they saw, something that they experienced, something that happened to them. And so what we're witnessing about, what we saw and what we experienced was Jesus changing our life. And so we're commanded to go and be witnesses to tell other people about how Jesus changed our life. So where do we go? Well, he lists a few places. He says Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And those places may not mean a lot to you, but if we're if we're to use the example of where we live it would be you are to be my witnesses in kansas city and the midwest and the united states and to the ends of the earth so we're supposed to be missionaries wherever we go it doesn't matter if you stay in johnson county if you go to missouri if you go uh, across the uh, across the seas right we're supposed to be a witness wherever we go and we have power we have boldness and we have courage to live out our faith and to tell others about Jesus so that's God's plan for us is for us to just tell people about Jesus so I want you to be thinking about that and what that means for you and second what I want you to think about is how can I be obedient to the Holy Spirit and trust him to help me tell about Jesus right and what we learned last week is that the Holy Spirit helps us the Holy Spirit is there for us to remind us of Jesus teaching and to convict us when we sin he's there to help us live a life that honors Jesus so what are some ways that you can listen to the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit tells you something. And I want to encourage you to have a conversation with mom and dad. Um, maybe an older sibling, someone that you trust. I, I want to encourage you to be thinking about that. What can I do to honor God with my life?